Hi! In this patch, we're going to use the matrix mixer to modulate an LFO with its own control voltage source, creating a feedback CV source. So I'm going to patch the LFO output into the Mordex data. I hope I can get that to show up in the video. Apologies if I can't. Adjusting the time there. Then I'm going to adjust the rate of the LFO. Now in this video, you are going to hear the LFO, but you're not going to hear the LFO modulating anything. So it's going to depend a bit on visuals and also just listening for when the LFO goes into audio rate. Uh, we're going to make it make some crazy sounds. So now I'm patching the LFO out into input 1 of the matrix mixer. I'm going to zero that out, make sure it's not modulating anything before I start, and then I'm patching output A into the LFO shape. So when I turn that knob, we're going to be feeding the existing shape of the LFO into the control of its shape. We're going to hear it do some interesting things. So now we can hear it go audio rate. That's what that clicking is. And you can see the LEDs change shape. With this next patch, I'm taking output B, and I'm going to patch that into the LFO speed control, which is going to control the speed of the LFO when I turn the knob with itself, creating a recursive patch. And it's going to sound like a robot. When you do this, you tend to get extreme waves. So right now it's very slow, and then it's going to go very fast in just a moment here. Adjust the rate a little bit. Get ready. That's a weird LFO. So it's all going back and forth, modulating itself, just doing very strange stuff. And uh, we still have a ton of inputs and outputs we could use uh, with other sound sources to wreak havoc. Um, but that's just one example of how you can create a control voltage feedback patch. Thanks for watching. For more information, go to AISynthesis.com.